Good afternoon. My name is Karen, and I'm part of the Sisterhood of Hope's Garden, and I am here today to talk with one of our members who lives in California, Francesca. Um, usually when we do videos for Hope's Garden, uh, we kind of get serious. We talk about some things that, you know, kind of difficult, but today's a fun video, and we're going to just talk about one of the little aspects of Hope's Garden that um, is kind of a fun, fun little thing that we do. Um, when a member joins Hope's Garden, sometimes all of a sudden you'll get like a little love package in the mail from us. And we were talking one night on a Zoom call and Francesca was telling us the story about what happened when she got her package in the mail. And subsequently how that has kind of uh, bled off into some of the other members of her family. So welcome today, Francesca. I'm so happy you're gonna tell me the story because it's really very cute. So welcome from California. Thank you so much. It's so good to be here. I just am so thankful for Hope's Garden. I'm thankful for Karen and everybody a part of it. I just wanted to say that it's just been such a blessing um, for my life. Um, yes. Yeah, so one of the things um, I got a package one day, I had no idea when I started, you know, kind of joining meetings and, um, and checking things out that I would get this package in the mail. And um, it was from Hope's Garden inside were some beautiful cards and um, just, you know, encouraging words and this beautiful prayer shawl. And um, I was just really blown away from it. I, I'm, um, I just, for me, tangible things and tangible gifts really just touch my heart. So I was blown away by this. And typically with a prayer shawl, um, it's made and with each stitch that's knitted, a prayer is, um, you know, said for that for that person who's receiving it. So I just, I mean, it just, you know, it was on one of those just regular, regular days. And I just, my soul just lit up with it. And so, you know, I've used it in my, when I sit and have my prayer time each day and it's um, just blessed me. But on top of it, the story that I wanted to share is that um, I have four children and two of my, my two youngest girls came in and saw it and they were just like, you know, really, flabbergasted by it and wanted to know what it was and and I explained to them about you know the prayer shawl and um how it's stitched with prayers and they were just really taken back by it which was surprising my one daughter um is nine and the other is four and so from that point on I um I see them wear it constantly they go into my little special area where I have it um in my where I have my um just kind of my whole little prayer, uh, sacred space, I call it. It's my little space where I sit and pray. And so my nine-year-old, for instance, um, you know, our family, we've definitely have been through some storms, um, for sure. And, um, she, you know, we're healing so much, but she still tends to have, um, some anxiety and she's so joyful. And I mean, just has the most incredible outgoing personality, but I, but as a mom, you know, I see this other side of her. And I would notice when she would start to, um, you know, have a hard time, she would, she would ask or she goes and gets the prayer shawl and she wraps it around her. And I can just see her whole body, her whole nervous system, like completely relax. Like you, I can just see it all over her body, soul, and spirit. And I would ask her, so, you know, I noticed, you know, when um, you get worried or, you know, you, you put the prayer shawl on. And she just says, she said, mom, I, I just, when I put it on and I think about all of those prayers that, that were said for me, I, it just makes me feel so, she says, she feels loved. She feels peaceful. And so she was really adapted to using this prayer shawl. It really does something for her, you know, and on a physical and mental, emotional, and, you know, spiritual level. And she's even started a little practice where she takes the shawl and she sets her own little corner up and she usually brings tea and a book, um, maybe a snack too. And she's just, you know, she wears it and it's just the most endearing, endearing practice. She's just kind of, you know, really been drawn to drawn to it. So I, you know, I had no idea when I received in the mail, how much it was going to bless, you know, not only me, but my nine-year-old, my nine-year-old daughter. Um, and then my four-year-old, you know, she's um, she's quite the spitfire, very, very black and white about things. And um, I often, after I, 
her time, she, her time with it is in the morning often. So I'll be, you know, kind of getting the older kids off to school and I find her in my bed all cuddled up and she has the prayer shawl on. And, and it's the same thing. Like I see her whole body just really um, soften with it. I've asked her, like, why do you, why do you like to put it on? Cause you put it on almost every day too. And she, um, her phrasing is she says, mom, it's just so warm. It's just, it's just so warm. So that's kind of her way of saying the same thing. Like it, she feels it in her, in her body and her, in her soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. I just had, you know, no idea, um, you know, that, that one gift was going to, to bless, to bless my family so much. So, and just the power of the power of sacramentals and here's, here's where the she is. <laughs> there she is. So, Hi anyway. there. yeah, this is Luca. Hi Luca. How are you? Hey, Luca, your mom was just telling me that you use the prayer shawl sometimes. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Do you? Um, why do you like it? Because um, it's so cozy and... Um, it's so cozy and wet. And I like to snuggle up in it um, in the morning. And I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am so happy that you're enjoying that. Your mom was telling me that you girls, sometimes she'll find you guys just all of a sudden, she'll just walk into a room and you're going to be sitting there wearing it. So I, yeah. I'm so happy that you were able to get that. And it's really a pretty color, isn't it? Yeah, our, her, it, ours is. So yeah. it's, a, it's a popular color. So. <laughs> yeah, pink is a popular color in a house of girls, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, um, Francesca and I were talking about the fact earlier before we started taping that as Catholics, um, we have sacramentals in the church, which are, which are um, visible things that kind of make present um, God and God in our lives, like rosaries and scapulars and prayer cards and uh, prayer shawls and crucifixes. And these are items that have been consecrated by being blessed. That means they've been set aside for a holy purpose. And um, in times of worry or distress, um, I know myself, even I, sometimes I'm so, I can't even pray. I just hold a crucifix or I hold a rosary. So I'm so glad that your girls are, are catching that so early in their lives. And also the other thing that you said, Francesca, that um, I wanted to point out is um, the importance of setting up that little sacred space in your home. Uh, especially it's been really important for people we found out during COVID and the fact that people are isolated and they can't go to church uh, when the churches were locked. I know Father Michael, who is the spiritual director of Hope's Garden, was encouraging um, the members of his parish to kind of set up a sacred space, like a little altar. So if you were watching mass uh, over the internet, then it would be a special place where you could go. And my husband and I did that. We had a blessed candle, we had a crucifix, we had a rosaries. Um, and, and I have, in the morning, my sacred space is on my porch. And I was talking to Laura, who's the foundress of Hope's Garden one day. And we were talking um, very early in the morning because we both have prayer time in the morning. And inevitably when we're done, we'll be texting each other something about what we need to do that day for Hope's Garden. And I was teasing her one day about the fact that I was having coffee with Jesus. And, and I said, this is my time with Jesus. So I said, you need to start having coffee with Jesus. So I was on a vacation and I found a little tea towel, those funny little tea towels they have out now. And it said, um, all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. So of course I had, it, it was Laura's, it was yeah. Laura's towel all the way yeah. to Florida. <laughs> right. So I had to bring that home for her. So, mm. but, uh, well, listen, thank you so much, Francesca, for sharing that with us. Um, I'm sure that it's nice to hear some happy things now and then in a happy video. So really yes. appreciate you sharing. And I'm sure you and I will be talking again soon. Um, yes. Enjoy your sunny day in California. And tell, tell Luca we all said goodbye. Yes, I will. She's off and gone now. So. Off and gone. Thanks so much. Thank Jim. you. Bye-bye.